I know this is as hard for you as it is for Adam. I mean, you were as much a father to J.R. as Adam is, and from the day he was born. Ah, well, you know who this is hard for? Jamie. Poor James, he's on, over there on the other side of the world, you know? Nothing he can do, he feels totally helpless. In so many ways, they're... They're closer than brothers, you know? We raised a hell of a kid. Two of them. I... I... Man, I don't know whether I'm going or coming. I keep thinking of the, the silliest things. You know, JR's in there fighting for his life, and all I can think about is stuff that happened when they were little boys, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, really little, like teaching them how to ride bicycles and... <laughs> Make the perfect snowball. <laughs> and bushwhack somebody with it. <sighs> oh, man. But it's so vivid. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like I'm almost there. It's like... Most bizarre kind of dream. I swear, I, they're gonna lock me up. The other day I walked in here, I could have, I would have bet cash money I was smelling chocolate chip, fresh baked, no nut cookies. And saw the woman baking them. You're thinking of Dixie, too. This is my heaven. But those mountains, those trees, Looks a lot like Pigeon Hollow. It I is. was happy there, yes. It is. <laughs> Uncle Stewart painted those trees. Yeah. Oh, and there's a stream where I used to catch the crawfish. I used to try to keep them as pets. <laughs> <laughs> and your dad and your uncle used to go fishing there, remember? Yeah. I made that. I made this. When I was eight, I think. For you, for Mother's Day. Every time I look at it, I think of you. This is amazing. It's amazing. I never thought I'd feel this way again. I love you so much, JR. I'm so glad that you could visit. What do you mean? This? With a partial match, what's the success rate? It varies with the patient. We won't know until we get started. Which, thanks to Annie, will be soon. We're going to admit you today and start harvesting your morrow. And the risk to my wife? Minimal. Complications are almost unheard of. Now, I know that you were worried about pain and the mortality factor, so I understand why this was a difficult decision for you. But you're doing the right thing, Annie. You made the right choice. How long have you known you could be a donor? Why do I get the feeling that you would throw me out the window the first chance you got? We'll have them bolted shut so there's no temptation. Where is this offer even coming from? I want to turn Fusion around. It's my number one priority. You and I will never be friends. Hell, we'll probably never get past civil, but we're smart and we're good at what we do. Maybe we should stop fighting each other and start fighting Fusion's competition out there. If I agreed, and that's a big if, how can you possibly imagine that we could even work together? You do kind of hate each other. Well, the one thing that we do share is that we care about fusion. We'll start there. And we don't have to literally work side by side. We can oversee different projects. I mean, I hear you've got a whole new line in, uh, uh, going ultra glamorous. Randy and Madison say it's genius. Well, Derek, okay, enough said. Well, you do have a certain style. And you do know your way around branding, so if you want to run with it, I won't interfere. We've established my strengths. What are yours? I have an idea for a whole new line of cosmetics. 
Fusion already has a number of established lines, plus a new one that I just launched with great success. So how is yours different? Well, if you want to know, you're going to have to partner up. But if both of our lines succeed, Fusion will blast right back to the top. It's not without potential. If we can get past the insults. The things you said about Ryan's and my relationship were I'm very sorry, harsh. I'm sorry. If you want to hate me, go ahead. But if we can cooperate enough to save Fusion, we both get what we want. I'll think about it. Time's critical, Erica. Yes, I know that, but it's a big decision, and I have to figure out, first of all, how it might possibly work. I have to speak to my... Albert? My attorney in New York. High-powered. Good. Good. Talk to your attorney. I'll talk to my father. Give Jackson my best, will you? Of course. She sounded sincere. Ina had a sound sincere, too. You think she's playing you? She's trying to. So, now what? There's no way that Greenlee ever would have believed that I was really interested in partnering with her if I had caved right away. Now, when I agree, she'll buy it hook, line, and stinker. <laughs> Two can play this game. <laughs>